camera basically propped up on an ironing board. Oh, it sounds like Mr. Blue Peter. Uh, the heart of Bright Cube is to provide a platform. And so I've got my brother-in-law here, Lee. I've asked him to basically take the whiteboard, thank you, boardsdirect.co.uk, to just like go through his story, his journey. All his details will be in the description. Um, I basically started it from when I was about five to six. My imagination was growing from the start. Going outside, reading books, playing games. And that was getting me to draw like new characters. I had a big brother to copy a lot of his artwork as well something everyone knew me mm. from was like being a, a good drawer and it was in year 10 when uh, with a friend of mine Jordan mm -hmm. um, we kind of collabed both our names together and that's when Leo Arts kind of made its first appearance Sweet. Uh, I don't know it's just become like my tagline for it all yeah it's cool I went to study further mm -hmm. in it like to kind of build up my artwork yeah um, that brought me to the AUB so Arts University in Bournemouth represent I'd say it was a great course great tutors and probably one of the best times I, you know I've had in in education you know it, it opened up so much mm. for me different avenues that I could direct my art, my yeah, art yeah, to yeah. so I had all these different ideas of what I might want to go into yeah. illustration would be the main one to go for pretty much covers like everything all starts with a like an initial sketch of something so illustration was my three-year course at the it was again at AUB mm -hmm. first year uh, was a bit like a foundation course and the second year was probably the, the most beneficial one I found I was introduced to like doing children's books mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is uh, what I base myself doing now. Third year, my first commission was with Van Store in Bournemouth. It was a student Halloween event. So I was given the job to do posters for them and little leaflets. You know, it was something new, something I've never really done before. What would be really great now is, is to look at what you're doing now, have a look at some of your work. Captain O was first illustrated. There you go. So it's this big series of books. I think in total, at the moment, we've done about four, um, which are available on Amazon. This one, Captain O and the Mermaid. Type that one in, the other ones will come down. And that's an, an ongoing project, which is really exciting. Uh, commissions on the go at the moment. One is working with um, a magazine called Modern Barbers, back page illustrations. This barber shop called um, Gentleman Rose Club. With the church I go to, mm -hmm. getting involved with a lot of like the poster, leaflet designs. Um, and we have this club called Hollow Bible Club. And I'm doing normally doing like all the backdrops and things like that so, so many exciting projects mm. which is great as well as doing my full-time job you know for any sort of commissions like whether it's like murals posters mm. uh, you know even if it's just like a portrait of someone that you know mm. um, you know I'm always welcome to kind of receive mm. those sorts of jobs so anyway yeah so do get in touch with Lee don't procrastinate don't think it would be silly to ask for advice check out Captain O but we've all everyone's got a story you started with something been at this stage maybe and you tried to make a decision mm. and then you've moved to here and it's led to different things and now you're you know looking for jobs exploring new options oh, for me this is it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Lee was saying keep going don't give up what you're doing let's go